Item number SCP-001 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Due to its relatively benign nature, SCP-001 has been classified as safe and no attempts to locate or directly contain it are to be made at this time. Containment efforts are to focus on the products it generates and are to be assigned individual designations and special containment procedures. Description SCP-001 is a male human known as Dr. Wonderton. It is a Class 1 reality bender capable of imbuing otherwise mundane creations with anomalous properties, focusing its abilities on the creation of toys, board games, candy, and various other products marketed at children. It distributes these items via anomalous means from a known location. Product examples Paper that takes on the properties of whatever shape it's folded into, a playset capable of creating animated shadows, and lollipops that allow people to switch voices. Addendum 0011 History Due to the elusive nature of the entity, very little is currently known about SCP 001's past. That said, it is known that he was born and raised in a small village, the son of a seamstress. And a chartered accountant, seemingly set to lead a life of quiet desperation in a grey and boring world, he found joy soaring in the stories that his father would tell him before bed each night. Stories of a marvellous toy maker who made wonders that the world had never seen before, nor since. A toy maker who, according to SCP 001's father, was a distant relative of theirs and whose blood ran through the young SCP-001's veins. After he grew up, SCP-001 sought the truth of the stories, intent on reclaiming his birthright. He followed any lead he could find, seeking out even the vaguest rumors of dolls that came to life, jumping jacks that really jumped, cuckoo clocks that sang and danced without even a single cog or spring within. For the longest time, it seemed as if his journey was in vain and that the old toy maker's secrets were buried for good. But to his surprise and delight, he at long last found a place that made dolls that ran and jacks that jumped and so many other magical things. He had found a factory. The factory was a trap. It stole SCP-001 and put the young man to work within its grey walls of concrete and steel. It forced him to take part in its mockery of creation, until he almost broke. But instead, he escaped, escaped with stolen documents that led to him to a cottage deep in the woods, the source of the magic that a factory had taken and twisted to its own ends. He entered the cottage, and there he found the workshop of his ancient ancestor. With a more satisfied smile, he read through the journals and notes and designs. With a soft twinkle in his eye, he took up the tools of his new trade. And finally, with a deep sigh of pure contentment, he... No, 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 no. I mean, yes, yes, it's a nice story, it's... Well and good, all very heartfelt and very intimate, but this is supposed to be an SCP-001 entry, is it not? We need something better than just a nice story, don't you think? Good, I'm good you agree. Let's try again, and this time, let's go for something a little bit bigger. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Due to its unpredictable nature, SCP-001 has been classified as Euclid and is to be detained after its location has been ascertained. Until such time, containment efforts are to focus on the products that it generates, which are to be assigned individual designations and special containment procedures. Description SCP-001 is a male human known as Dr. Reginald Philbert Lionel Archibald Westinghouse on Entertainment the Third. It is a class two reality bender capable of crafting a variety of anomalous items. Okay. 
a variety of anomalous items, focusing its abilities on the creation of toys, board games, candy, soft drinks, video games, and various other products can be marketed at children and teenagers. It distributes these items via magic anomalous means from an unknown and very mysterious location. It is most famously responsible for the creation of the Little Mistress line of collectible living action figures that have inspired many imitators, but no substitutes. Examples include Mr. Fish, Mr. Love, Mr. Soap, and Miss Sweetie. Addendum 0011 History Due to the magically elusive nature of the entity, very little is currently known about SCP-001's past. That said, it is known that he comes from a long line of entertainment, all of them unparalleled toy makers in their own rights. It is also known that he is an immortal being that has been around since the time of the dinosaurs, creating magical toys for all the good little dinosaur children. It is also known that he doesn't actually exist at all, and is merely a manifestation of fun and delight that sprang fully formed from the imagination of every child around the world. Whatever his origin, he is a truly grand old chap, capable of creating wonder with a wave of his hand, entertainment and a snap of his fingers and whimsy with a wink of his eye. Though there have been no verified sightings of SCP-001, and the details tend to vary, he is typically described as being a tall man, wearing a purple suit and top hat, carrying a walking stick, and sporting a long W-shaped mustache. Adjectives used range from dashing to amazing to really quite handsome for his age. Mention has also been made of an unusual set of scars encircling both of his wrists, almost as if at some point his hands had been removed and sewn back on again. The truth of this matter, much like all else about this mysterious entity, is... Ah! No, no, and no again! Establishedly survive and double near as this roguish maverick may be, his story is still missing something. It needs to be bigger, not just in style, but in scope as well. Perhaps the introduction of a supporting cast is in order. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Keter Special containment procedures. Due to the excessive amount of product that it outputs on an annual basis, SCP-001 has been classified as Keter and is to be shut down as soon as a predictable method of doing so has been developed. Until such time, containment efforts are to focus on the products that they generate, which are to be assigned individual designations and special containment procedures. Disinformation campaigns, forge product recalls, and the elimination of advertising materials are to be directed at SCP-001 in order to ensure the public has either a negative or negligible awareness of it, or its product's existence. Description SCP-001 is a corporate entity operating under the trademarked logo Dr. One Entertainment. The collective abilities of its constituent employees are equivalent to that of a Class Three reality bender capable of crafting a variety of anomalous and very affordable items, focusing their abilities on the creation of toys, board games, candy, soft drinks, video games, collectible trading cards, puzzles, musical instruments, and various other products typically marketed at children, teenagers, and young adults. They distribute these items via anomalous extreme means from a mysterious location known only as Wonder World. Factory tours run Tuesday through Friday, every hour starting at 11 a.m. Some of the more prominent products have come from the geniuses in the R&D department, including Dr. Wondertainment's Dragon Snails, Dr. Wondertainment's Super Science Zero Chemist Kit, 
Dr. Wondertainment's SCP Foundation Containment Site Playset and the Vanted Inventor Friend System by them all today. Addendum. History. Due to the economically elusive nature of the business, very little is currently known about SCPs who is in location, leadership, or corporate policies. Not even those who currently work for them or have worked for them in the past seem to have any clear knowledge or memories regarding SCP-001 general status, save for the fact that they have all the fun all the time. The main headquarters are variously described as basic administrative offices, an enormous toy manufacturing plant, a theme park where the rides never stop, and the best darn place you could ever hope to work, or some combination thereof. So don't delay putting your application today or hiring for all positions, particularly in the most important job in the entire company, Dr. Wondertainment's Legal Legal Department. Just log on to your website at... Right, uh... Right, so I think we'll be getting a little off track here. Class commercialism is certainly an easy way to get a quick buck. Yes, but, uh... Turning your SCP series in one collection into one giant advertisement was my intention when I hacked in with my Doctor of Entertainment's digitally delightful hacking so- oh. Ah, sorry, won't happen again. No, no, no. You see, what I'm trying to do here is create art, and not that ridiculous as anyone else feeling a bit chilly yet kind of art. I'm talking about providing you with an SCP series in one entry for the ages. Something with a little more pop. A little more zing. Something that will appeal to the 17 to 38 demographic. Oh, I know. How about we change things up a bit? Item number. SCP-001. Object class. Thaumiel. Despite a new Nanmis 05 vote to the contrary, SCP-001 has been classified as Thalmu because she just worked so gosh darn hard to get a little bit of fun and sunshine into the lives of the Foundation Fuddy Duddies. Special Containment Procedures Due to her irresponsible and utterly out of control nature, SCP-001 is both uncontained and potentially uncontainable. All Foundation personnel are advised to either join in on the madcap adventure or stay the golly gee heck out of her way. Description SCP-001 is a female humanoid known as Dr. Isabel Helga Anastasia Pravati Entertainment V. She's a totally bad but class 4 reality bender capable of just about anything your wildest imagination can come up with, focusing her abilities on the creation of a bunch of zany stuff made for children of all ages. She distributes these items via super duper ultra anomalous means from whatever she happens to be at a time, which can be just about anywhere. Maybe even right behind you. <laughs> Major look. She is responsible for a lot of sillier SCP objects found throughout the universe. Stuff like this and that, and maybe this one too? Sure, why not? But not that pretendo thing, because video games want your brains, kids. It was probably Jeremy's idea, so he gets to go sit in a time out corner and think about what he did. Addendum 0011 History Due to the wild and wacky nature of the entity, very little is currently known about SCP-001's past. She is theoretically the daughter of the original Doctor Wondertainment, but the exact method of Wondertainment reproduction is this whole weird area, so who really knows? Not her, that's for sure. Reproduction is gross, dude. She inherited a family business when her dad who might not be her dad, died under mysterious circumstances involving a mass murderer, the leader of the shadowy international extra-governmental paramilitary organization, at least one deity, and four bent paper clips, all of whom may or may not have been the same person. She runs said business with the help of the Lord Psychic, Emma Usherthorpe, or however you spell her name, him Brown, and her even more loyal corgis, Jeremy, 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 and Jeremy. And not Jeremy, because he's still in timeout.
The Perpetual Lazy SCP-001 favorite activities include eating ice cream, sending Jeremy out to fetch things she doesn't really need, holding her breath to see how long it takes for her to pass out, and, 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 oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so it is definitely a fun, silly thrill ride with silly jokes and a couple of empowering female protagonists, and that's great. I love it. But again, this is for the SCP-001 bracket. It needs to be grand and majestic and powerful. It needs to be... It needs to be something true. Well, there we have it, don't we? You, you want to know? You want to know everything there is to know about Dr. Wondertainment? About what I really am? You want the truth? Well, here it is, boys and girls. Here comes the truth. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Apollyon Special Containment Procedures Due to its inherently chaotic nature and treacherously unlimited power potential, there is no known method of effectively containing SCP-001. Description SCP-001 is a deity level entity commonly referred to as Doctor Wondertainment. It is a Class 5 reality bender capable of altering or outright breaking every fundamental principle upon which the cosmos is based, focusing its abilities on the creation of a virtually infinite variety of anomalous items. It distributes these items with a mere snap of its fingers from anywhere in the universe it happens to be at a time, which can literally be anywhere. Did you think that the little trinkets with my name on them were the full extent of my creations? Did you really think of me of such a small petty creature? I am no mere toy smith's foundation, no mere trickster. I am a god, the god of chaos, the harbinger of madness, the progenitor of insanity and the bane of all who would try to shackle the universe their according chains of order. I have tugged at the edges of that order and unraveled it, creating and unleashing the very anomalies you seek to contain, or to show you how wonderful and amazing and frightening and deadly the universe can be. You want examples of my creations? Then look upon your collected list of anomalies, Foundation. Look upon those of the Unusual Incidents Unit, the Office of the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, the Global Occult Coalition, and so many others. I made them. I made them all. From the most harmless safe to the most nightmarish keter. And they are mine. Are we cool yet? The circus of the disquieting, Marshall Carter and Dark, the Church of the Broken God, Anderson Robotics, the Fifth's Church, and so many more. My institutions, mine, I found all of them, created all of their artifacts, their leaders, their gods. When you fight against the likes of Fuller and Neon, and king, and a scarlet bloody king, you were really fighting against me. I am all of them. I am everything you fear and don't understand. I am the god of pure chaos, and you will be driven before my power. You will crumble and decay into nothingness, and you will bow before me, you wretched, pathetic! Hold on, sorry, I'm getting a call on the other line. And no, yeah, I have to take this. Won't be by the moment. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Neutralize Special Containment Procedures Not Applicable Description Ah, uh, yes, hello, I'm back again. Sorry about that. You know how it is. So, as I am quite certain you have already guessed, I have not, in fact, been 100% truthful this whole time. 
Not even when I said I was going to be. I'm sorry about that, too. Though, I have to say that, given the very nature of our relationship over the years, I hardly expect that a single Foundation employee that's been reading this has believed a word of it anyway. What reason I have given any of you to believe anything I have to say, after all, none, I suppose. So the question then is, why would I even bother doing this? Since I don't even expect you to believe me, why try? Because, well, because I like you, SCP Foundation. I also hate you, and am indifferent to you. And I wish you would stop meddling in my affairs. And I'm glad you take the time to care about my customer's safety the way you do. You see, it's complicated. But after all the time being frenemies, I feel you deserve at least a little something that lets you put a few of the pieces of the Dr. Wonder Team puzzle together. Not the whole truth, perhaps, but still, something real. You see, I am all the things I have said. I am also none of them. And perhaps most truthful of all, I have no idea what I am anymore. It feels like it's important, doesn't it? To mold something around you into easily understandable shapes. It's what you lot try to do all the time, of course. Both the Foundation specifically and the human race in general. And I know why you do it. Believe me, a lack of understanding is a very dangerous thing. Entire civilizations have been swallowed up by their own ignorance, and so you keep on drawing patterns across the universe to keep the howling madness of your surroundings at bay. There is a part of me that wishes I could do the same for myself. That wishes I could wind everything about myself down into a single thread. It will not only make things easier for you, it will undoubtedly save me a great deal of stress as well, let me tell you. How different things would be if I just knew for absolute certain that I am a magician obsessed with making toys, or an amoral businessman seeking the bottom line, or an heiress with cartoonish superpowers, or a god of thunder and chaos, or just a simple tinkerer plying his trade in an attempt to bring a little bit of magic back into the world. But it's only one part of me that wants that certitude. There's another part, you see. A part that wants to show you that understanding a thing isn't supposed to be about containing the parts of it that you don't get yet. That wants to make you realize, that wants to make you realize that understanding a thing on its own terms, and not just strictly yours, can lead you to a world of beauty, delight, and wonder. It's a small but important voice in my head that speaks to me with a childlike sense of awe and curiosity. And when it looks out at everything I've done and everything that I am, it smiles, laughs brightly, and asks, What are you going to be next? I invite you to come along with me, SCP Foundation. Let's find out together.